Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the basics of Python and how to get started with Python. So if you're wondering why you need to start learning Python, then you can see my previous video wherein I discussed why Python is the go-to language, the language that you should learn in 2020. So without wasting your time, let's get started with this video. So what is Python? So if you go to the official website, which is python.org, you can read the statement here, which says Python is a programming language that lets you work quickly and integrate systems more effectively. And Python is one such language which has one of the easiest syntax out there. So let's move on to the next step, which is basically how to install Python and which version of the Python you need to install. So if I go to the downloads page here, I can see that these are some of the latest versions of Python. So for this particular video, I'm going to download Python 3.8.2, which is the latest version for Windows. So you just need to click this download button and it should download you the latest Python version into your system. So once this file is downloaded, I'll just click the button and it allows me to install this into my system. I'll just straight away install this and before that I'll click this button so that the Python path is added to my system. So we'll wait for some time till this gets installed. It might take some minutes so you have to wait until it gets installed. So yes the Python software got installed into my system and you can see the success message over here and I can now click the close button. Now the next step is to uh, set up my virtual environment with the installed Python version. Okay, so now I'm on my Windows PowerShell wherein I can type in some commands. So in this step, we will be setting up our virtual environment with the latest Python version that we have installed into our system. So I'll create my virtual environment now. Uh, for that, we have to type the command virtual env space the environment name and followed by enter. And if you want to know more about virtual environment and why do we create it, you can see one of my previous video where I have explained the whole concept of virtual environment, how stuffs work inside the virtual environment. Okay, so in my machine, uh, I have set up my Python version as Python 3.6 as the default version and hence this virtual environment is installing that version of the Python. But if you look into my previous video where I've explained you how you can set up a particular version of Python to get installed into virtual environment, then you can also specify uh, the specific Python version that you want to install into your virtual environment. But in this case, we'll just go ahead with the current Python version, which is Python 3.6 in my case. And you can see that there is the done message, which means the virtual environment has been created with this specific Python version, Python 3.6. Now, in order to activate the virtual environment, we just have to enter this command. So now our virtual environment is activated. I just want to clear the screen. You can see that env is prepended here, which means our virtual environment has been activated. So now we are all set to create our first project. So before we get started with our first project, I just wanted to discuss a bit on the IDEs that you could use. So as you might be already aware, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. And two of the most recommended IDEs for using Python are the number one is PyCharm, obviously, because it's one of the officially designed IDE for writing Python programs. And the second one is a very lightweight IDE, which can be used for any programming language, not just Python. And that IDE is Visual Studio Code, which is from Microsoft. So in this tutorial, we are going with Visual Studio Code because this is one of the lightest IDE that you could install into your system. And I think as a beginner, you should get started with this IDE and you should not bother about PyCharm at this moment. But later when we move into the more complex concepts of Python, then I think an IDE like PyCharm will help you more with its uh, advanced features like uh, auto correction and debugging and so many other stuff that uh, that is present in PyCharm. So for now, we'll just go with Visual Studio Code and I can show you how to install it and how to download it from the internet. So we go to Google, we search for Visual Studio Code. And then we click the download Visual Studio Code link. 
and you can see uh, you have the option to download it for windows for your linux machine or for your mac so since my machine is windows i'll just click the windows download here so once the installer gets uh, downloaded into your machine you can just run through the uh, normal installation wizard in my machine i have already installed the visual studio code so i'll just open it for you You can close the first default window and now this is the visual studio code ide uh, so the first step is to create a python file wherein you will be writing your first code so before creating the file i'll just open my folder which is my project folder i created and the project folder name is hello world so i'll just go to the file menu here and there is an option called open folder if you click that you get the option to select the folder which you want to open so now i have selected my hello world directory here and i click the select folder now my ide is into that particular folder and now i can create new files and folders using my ide which will be saved into that particular folder which i have opened so if i want to create a new file i can click this icon here and it allows me to create a new file here and i will make it hello world.py so this is my python file where where i'll be writing my first hello world program in python now you can also see that uh, vs code shows me some recommendation so it asked me to install this particular extension which helps me with my python code so i will recommend you to install this this might take a couple of minutes to get this plugin installed into your ide so now this plugin is installed now i can go back to the directory structure into my uh, python file which i am currently in so now comes the best part which is writing your hello world program so how do you write a hello world program in python so you'll be amazed to see that it is done in one single line so i will just write print hello world and that's everything that you have to do there's no import statement there is no c out c in nothing it's just the print statement hello world and there is no semicolon at the end so that's the beauty of python python is one of the easiest language that you could learn and it follows the plain english syntax so before we continue with running this file i will save it with Control s so you can see that once the file gets saved the small dot is removed from this file name so now we have completed writing our hello world program we should be able to execute this python file and see the output to do that we will go back to our virtual environment command prompt here and we are already in this directory and just to make sure that we are in the correct directory i will type in ls and i can see that the hello world dot py file is in there so to execute any python file the command is python followed by the file name which is hello world.py so if i execute this file by pressing enter you can see that it prints the statement that we have added to the file which is hello world so that's all for now this was the easiest way you could write a hello world program in any of the programming languages do you remember how you used to write in your c plus plus or c language it used to be more than at least three lines of code i believe so in python it's just one single line and you can print your hello world statement that's the power of python so that's all for this video and in my upcoming videos i'll be talking more about the basic concepts of python in such detail and easy to understand manner uh, so if you enjoyed this video so far i would request you to please like this video comment your feedback and share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed to this channel so far please do that now so thanks for your time and i hope i made you understand one concept in the python programming language today so stay tuned to my channel and see you in my next video. Thanks for your time. Take care and bye.